So we're here in Trapec district, which is basically located about a four and a half hour bus ride plus a around a two hour hike uh, north of Kathmandu. This village is awesome. It has this really cool location. It's surrounded by you know, three to five thousand meter peaks. And this is where we uh, have kicked off this biogas initiative. Biogas is a awesome project for this particular part of the world because it really tackles uh, quite a few of the development issues that these sort of communities are, are facing. The bacteria that is generating biogas needs a... My name is Ravi Bhanu Chetri. I'm from Nepal and I work as an alternative energy expert. A minimum time that a household uses to cook is uh, one to two hours a day. So we came up with a plant design that, is, uh, that will generate biogas for one to two hours. A lot of these farming communities that we're, that we're working with have a strong demand for wood as their sort of sole source of, of cooking fuel. So when you walk around these communities, you, um, you see a lot of women particularly carrying these big piles of wood that they've you know, collected from the nearby forest. And one of the big benefits of, of, of biogas is that the plant itself helps reduce the demand and the need for that. So in that way, if they have energy at their home site, they are not going to go to the forest and cut wood, and then forest will be safe. Dingi de me, dingi da vadaram lungriya mai si pai somwa. Vadaram dingi prasi sing mai vada kade kandela ujiri samayri sada dam duise duise bili bide wo andem jala tir la jala sa sa ido jinji wo. Mostly. A woman uses those time to uh, generate income. If not, they can spend more time with their babies and more time with their families and friends. Another experience that you, that you see when you, when you live with these families, almost constantly hear people cough. And this is also largely due to you know, smoke and, and an environment in which they're cooking in that is quite toxic. By implementing biogas, there is no smoke in the house. And if you talk about in the international level, the methane gas, that is like if you lay your tongue around, then it's going to be degraded, and then there's methane coming out of it, which is very harmful to the environment. So how these plants actually works is, is quite phenomenal. Um, you have an inlet where you basically add a, a sort of a mixture of, of plant waste. It could be human waste, it can be animal waste. What happens then is it sits into this unit where, where it sort of starts to digest. It works a bit similar like a, like a stomach actually. And when it sits there, it builds up enough pressure of, of methane that they can uh, pipe it into a kitchen and, and basically light it on fire and, and it is an odor free type of type of gas. Um, you also have the of course the added bonus of, of the waste it can be used useful for sort of fertilizing the, the fields which uh, which they obviously the, the farmers use. Uh, so a very simple process but but has uh, a lot of uh, just, a, just a lot of cool mechanisms to it. When we get here, when we bring students here, uh, they obviously stay with the local families. It obviously adds to, to the benefits of, of the students for the really learning and engaging with, with the local people living in this village and, and sort of seeing the needs that we addressed through the project. And it also obviously gives the communities a bit of income through the process of hosting students. <laughs> It's <laughs> not a woman, 
And our first impression of the village were we didn't really feel like foreigners. They really welcomed us. They were really happy that we were there and we were happy to help at the, uh, at the same time. They gave us this little like uh, scarf and it was handmade and it was really beautiful. Living with a family is quite fun because uh, our room is like next to the garage where they have a, a, a buffalo or as we call it, a buffalo. I don't know why, but and we have a goat. So far I've been working to uh, build the, uh, fill in the hole and build the dome itself. So, um, you know, my back, my back kind of kills me at times, but it's quite, you know, fun filling a hole. You know, I don't really bring out with a shovel or any tools of that sort. So it's quite like being thrown into a new experience and having to adapt to it is just, it is like an adrenaline to it. It's like, yeah, I can work for this. And we get music passing in the background, you know, it's like, ooh. So I think this trip falls into the service learning, um, mainly because we actually came out here, we're building biogas domes. It's applied mathematics and science, right? So we're taking some of the content that we're learning in the classrooms, we're applying it to a real life situation. But not only that, we've taken the kids um, essentially out of their comfort zones, right? We've taken them to a village that is legitimately in the middle of nowhere in Nepal. And, um, you know, they are having all sorts of new experiences. So far, the trip with my classmates has been really great. I, before coming here, I wasn't very close with a lot of them, and now since we're all working on the same project together, we've gotten really, really close, and we've got to know each other a lot better. With them helping out and knowing that the people really need this is important, and I think they recognize that what they're doing uh, will last a very long time. This is what you came here for. This is what you came. You came to experience something different. 